Tanner. My tummy's hungry. Let's get it some food. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently call Germany our home. If you've been following our journey, our American parents recently flew into Germany to spend some time with us. So far, we have introduced them to the German Autobahn. We even let my dad drive. That's almost as fast as I've ever gone. <laughs> We explored Innsbruck, Austria, where we ate tasty Tyrolean food and then experienced a beautiful winter wonderland and attempted tobogganing in the Dolomites. Mm, I don't want to leave. Hope you're ready. Here we go. Happy Hippos, welcome. After that, we explored the more than 1,000 year old town of Quidlinburg, situated in the Harz Mountains. In this video, we are introducing them to our personal favorite and one of Germany's most popular street foods, the Duna. They also try many traditional German foods. Are you so happy to have Grandma and Papa here? Yes. Now we're gonna go travel, huh? Hmm. Are you excited? Yes. Wee. Yeah, we're gonna have schnitzel hmm? and pork shoulder or neckel. Schnitzel, neckel? And bratwurst. You guys, it's April and I'm sitting in the car in my winter coat because it's freezing outside. One of you guys commented on our video and said, have you seen nature's April Fool's joke? And it took me a little bit to get it, but then I got it because yes, April in Germany is all sorts of crazy weather. We are really excited for today's video. We are showing our parents some of Germany's most popular foods. Yesterday, we took them to get Duna for the first time ever, and it was really fun to see their reactions. They were both fans, right? Yes. Yeah, they both thought it was good. It took them a couple bites to really start to enjoy it. It was different than they expected, but in the end, they did enjoy it. So that made me happy because honestly, Tanner and I could eat Dunas very frequently. We love them. They're one of our favorites. I, I just want you guys to love it. <laughs> well, I'm so excited. Do you have meat? That was like really cheesy. A ranchy or something. Uh, garlic. Yeah, it's like a yogurt sauce. You don't really like it. It's just different than what I'm used to. I think it's good. I love it with the feta cheese. It's hard to eat. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We got some fries, too. So we didn't even realize this restaurant was right along the Christmas market in the Altstadt area. I don't even know if this is the Altstadt area, but it was right where the Christmas market was, so we're pretty excited about that. It's a fun location. It looks very different compared to when we were here the first time. Let's go get some food. What one do you want? You want the pork shoulder? Mm-hmm, she knows where it's at. This one. This one. You want the crispies? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, we'll get you some. She's going in first. Crunchy. Okay, so we got all of the meals here. Over on this side, we've got our white asparagus or our spargo, and then some bread, and then our bratwurst, the three bratwurst with sauerkraut and some mustard, and then the pork shoulder, really excited, some canuda, and then our schnitzel and fries and a little bit of salad. I'm like hovering over this and the smell's coming up, so we gotta dig in while it's hot. That's a strong mustard. mustard. It is. It's got horseradish in it. This is really good flavor. Well, this pork knuckle is gone now. Huh. What do you think about the mustard? It was a little overpowering for my little bite. There's some pork right here. Do you want to explain what it tastes like? Good enough to go back for seconds, huh? Here you go, man. Pork. It reminds you pork exactly joint, right? pork chop. Pork chop, yep. So we've had pork schnitzel before, and I really like the breaded kind <gasps> rather than the Vienna style. What do you think? Better than the one that we made at home? I don't know. 
This one's thinner, which I think is more of the traditional style. Both are really good. I would say it is a bit better. I like the lemon sprinkled on it. Do you want some of this sausage, sis? Here you go. No, my delicious. Okay. Willa doesn't want the bratwurst, but I'm gonna have some. I really like that, actually. It reminds me of bratwurst that, you guys are not gonna like me for saying this, but bratwurst that you can get in the States. I don't know if I wanna dip it in the mustard. You guys know me, I don't love my strong mustard. Yeah, it was a bit too strong for me, but I really like it plain, so that's okay. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this, but uh, you just roll it over, apparently. We'll save that there. Look at what daddy's got. That looks so tender. I'll try and give everyone a little bit of a crunchy. This is very juicy. That was a lot of fat, but it's really crunchy, that nice crispy layer on the top. And the sauce is quite savory as well. Like this is a very hearty meal, obviously. Really tender and cooked. Like the last one that we had in Munich was I think pork shoulder as well. Or pork knuckle. Or pork knuckle. Yeah, it was pork knuckle. This one definitely is better, I think. I like this one quite a bit. <laughs> Not bad. It was a little probably greasier, fattier than I normally would like. But good flavor. That's good. Really good. That's the reaction <laughs> we're looking for. <laughs> Do you want to try some with it? Do you want to try some of the crunchy? Or are you getting tired? She fell asleep on the way here. Literally was four minutes left and we were like, no! Hurry, wake her up before she gets too sound asleep because we knew. It's hard to wake her up. We don't like to do that. Now are you sleeping? I'm really excited to dive into this. If you guys watched that Munich video like Tanner mentioned, I thoroughly enjoyed that pork knuckle. It was super good. This one is different. This is gonna be a first time for us trying it with a gravy around it. But when Tanner was cutting it, you can just see how tender that meat is. Oh, are we gonna have a little pork bite? You can see that, that fat in there. I, Look at that, wow. I can't quite get myself to eat all that fat. So I'm gonna separate that bottom and then get the top layer of crispy fat. Here's the crispy layer, adding on that meat layer on top. Mm. That's really good. I love the textures that are going on there. The crispy fat is just the best layer and the meat really was super tender. Got the parsley. Okay, I say cut it in half. Honestly, I don't like asparagus, but it's okay. I haven't tried it in years. It's tender. Yeah, if you liked the taste of asparagus, <laughs> you would also like this. I think you would really like it. <laughs> so the last time that we had this was at our temporary housing, and we didn't peel it, so it tasted really rough. So I'm excited to get some. It's a little more professionally prepared. Much more tender. I got a little bitter taste in that one, but the hollandaise sauce is really nice as well. Yeah, they did a much better job cooking it than we did. Apparently it was a huge hit because all the plates are pretty much clean, except for the canudo. None of us are really huge fans of that. A little too gelatinous for us, but everything else, very nice. My favorite was for sure the pork shoulder. I think it had the best flavor, but the bratwurst was definitely, oh, it's so hard, but that schnitzel. It was a lot of meat. That was a lot of meat, honestly, all in one sitting, but it was still a lot of fun to try the different ones. Now that I'm like, thinking back to it, I probably would say the pork shoulder was my favorite. The pork shoulder was probably my least favorite, a little more greasier than I would have liked, but it's a toss up between the schnitzel and the bratwurst. I like them both. I liked it all. About the only thing I didn't like was that little potato ball thing. Everything else was delicious. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Aren't my parents such good sports? We've been dragging them into all of our videos. Give it to them in the comments below. Cheer them on, give them props because it took Tanner and I a long time to get comfortable with the camera. And we're just like, here, you're in Germany. Come join on this ride of, you know, getting to experience new German things. So. What was your favorite? My favorite was probably the pork shoulder and the schnitzel. They're really good. That schnitzel, you're right, that schnitzel was really good. Mm. I wanted to comment about the asparagus because it was cooked much differently, but one thing I wanted to say off camera is when I tried to cut into it, I probably didn't do it right because I had my fork without a knife. I'm sure that already is kind of the no-no with it, but it like t turned into shreds. 
and that happened at home and so it at least made me feel a little bit better that maybe we didn't prepare entirely wrong at home and I think that's just kind of the texture of it. I mean, I guess you guys will have to let us know in the comments how to avoid doing that. So we are coming up on one hour of being in this stow. Not a huge fan of these. There's a wreck probably less than two miles away from us. Waiting here and we did forget to mention that one thing that we realized and is kind of a culture shock coming from the US, my in-laws mentioned it too, was the price of water like still water, non-bubbly, non-sparkly stuff. We got two bottles of 750 milliliters each, so we got one and a half liters of water, and it cost almost 12 euros. Like, that for us is just, like, absurd. Back in the States, you can get water for free. You have to pay for drinks, and so, yes, beer is cheaper than water in a lot of ways here. Thanks for being here, you guys. It's so fun to take you guys with us on our adventure, and now our parents' adventure here in Germany. So, thanks again. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>